new shoes I got today. Aren't they cute? Yes, these are cute. But the vamp is a little too high. Vamp? The vamp is the top piece on your shoe. The higher the vamp, the more your feet are covered. And the lower the vamp, the less your feet are covered. And that can make your feet look like an extension of your legs. Like these ones I'm wearing. If you have shorter legs like me, wear low vamp shoes. They can make your legs look longer. Okay, it makes a lot of sense, but what if I do like loafers? Oh, hello there, my beautiful darling. Don't worry, I got you covered. Low vamp shoes is just one of the designs that can elongate our legs. I'm going to share with you five other things that you should be paying attention to and that will make sure you find the most flattering shoes if you have shorter legs like me. The toe shape of your shoes extremely important. Square toe shape has been very much on trend, but if you have short legs like me, stay away from them. I have donated every single pair in my shoe closet with square toe shape. Why? Because I found they make my legs look shorter. That is not acceptable. I am 5'2". I have short legs to begin with. Instead, go for the pointed toe, the most leg elongating toe shape. This is especially critical if you are wearing high vamp shoes. If you like loafers or meals like me, the pointed toe shape is really important. Like this pair from Steve Madden. This is one of my most worn shoes because they're flat, very comfortable. Even though they have no heels, the pointed toe shape makes sure they elongate my legs. Okay, some of you have mentioned to me, Chi, I can't wear any pointed toe shoes. They're just not comfortable. I totally understand where you're coming from because I have wide feet. My feet are short, but they look like a square shape. So I have tried numerous pointed toe shoes and they did not work out. But the reason is not because they have pointed toe. Here's the most important part. You want to make sure this part of the shoe, the widest part, needs to be wide enough for your feet. Otherwise, regardless of pointed toe, round toe, square toe, they're not going to feel comfortable on your feet. So you need to make sure it's wide enough and it stretches enough. If you're a curvy girl, if you have an hourglass body shape, if you have wider calves or thicker ankles, the best toe shape for you, rounded toe. Like this ones. I just got them from Koham. Super comfortable. I am in love. Rounded toe shape are most in harmony if you are a curvy girl. And this, even though they're not pointed toe, because they have low vamps, they still can make my legs look longer. If you have an hourglass shape, another wonderful choice for you, the peep toe shoes. If you are an hourglass, overall you come across as fleshy instead of bony. So when you wear peep toe shoes, that little peep at the tip of the toe creates space and that can balance out the overall rounded features of yours. If you have short legs or if you are petite, stay away from ankle straps. Any shoe with ankle straps, that is one horizontal line right at your ankle and they're gonna make your legs look cut off. It's especially worse if your ankle straps are wider like this or if your shoes are black like this. The horizontal line is so obvious, I can almost see it from two miles away. Instead, wear shoes with no ankle straps like this. Now, there's no more horizontal line making your legs look cut off your legs look like a vertical line. This is what you want. This is most flattering if you have short legs. Now, what if you cannot avoid ankle straps like me? My feet are really small and they're skinny. One side is four and a half, the other side is five. Very, very rarely, shoes without ankle strap can stay on my foot, especially if I have to walk, which I do a lot because I commute to my office. In that case, you can wear ankle straps just to make sure the straps are skinny and they're the skin color like this one. Even though they are ankle straps, because the color blends with the color of my skin, it's much less noticeable compared with the black ankle straps. 
The nude color is not talking about any specific color. It really depends on your skin tone. Whether you have darker skin, fair skin, you need to find that shade that is closest to your skin tone, and that is your nude color. Closer the ankle strap is to your skin tone, the less noticeable they are. Therefore, they're less likely to make your legs look cut off. If you have small feet like me, if you have the same issue, Shoes without ankle straps just will not stay on your feet. Watch this video. The solutions I figured out after numerous trials and error. What about comfortable shoes? Some of you asked me about Birkenstock. These are very comfortable, but they are a little bulkier. I don't own any of them because the wider straps and the overall feel of a very relaxed casual doesn't really match my personal style. Instead, these are very similar to the Birkenstock. These are from Kohan and these are my commuter shoe. I walk about 10 to 15 minutes one way every day to my office. I love walking in these shoes. It's a very similar concept as Birkenstock, wider straps, made of leather. The insole is very soft. Compared with Birkenstock, I prefer this because these look more stylish. Another two pairs of my commuter shoes. These are from Amazon, surprisingly comfortable. These are like 20 something bucks, not real suede. This is full suede, but it is really walkable. And I will leave the link down below. And this from Kohan, extremely walkable too. If you want to maximize your leg length, wear the same color pants and shoes. This is especially critical in the winter when you wear ankle boots. Ankle booties can be very tricky. Because they come up higher on our legs, they can't form that horizontal line, again, at your ankle, which is not flattering and can make our legs look cut off. In order for them to look flattering on someone with shorter legs like us, you want to make sure your ankle boots and your pants are the same color, or very similar colors, like this. Now, there is no more horizontal line. Your legs and your boots look like one straight vertical line, and that is most flattering for women with shorter legs. Another easy way to do this is to wear black pants, full length, either flare leg pants or wide leg pants, and wear them with black heels. You can wear black palms, black booties under it, or even platform shoes. Because they're covered, it really doesn't matter. Only the front of your feet are going to be showing and that is going to make sure there's no horizontal line at all. Your entire feet, your entire shoes are going to look like an extension of your legs. This is going to maximize your leg length. In the winter, if you wear a lot of dresses, skirts like me, you want to make sure you wear black tights or black leggings and pair it with black booties or tall boots. This is so important because when you wear a skirt or a dress, the hemline is another horizontal line. I know, I know, they are everywhere. So for them to look flattering on you, you either wear them barefoot, which is not very feasible in the winter, or you can wear black tights and pair them with black shoes. This is important in order to eliminate another horizontal line from the boots. And this is most flattering if you have short legs like me. Color of your shoes, extremely important. If you watch my channel a lot, you know I have an entire shoe closet of nude shoes. If you want to elongate your legs, nude shoes is a must have because nude colors, they blend with the color of your skin. So they work the best, especially in the summer and the spring, not just Nude sandals, nude pumps, nude slides. I also have nude boots. You can wear this year round. They're seasonless and they go with pretty much any bottom in your closet. These nude booties and nude tall boots are my favorite in the transitioning weather, especially in the fall. The nude booties, I love to wear them with my jeans. They go with any color jeans. I can also wear them with my skirts and dresses. I love to wear them bare-legged, but don't worry, I am wearing invisible socks. You cannot see them, but they're there. I also love to wear the tall nude boots 
these are the perfect pieces to transition your summer items into the fall. You can wear your summer dresses with tall nude boots, perfect combination for a fall outfit. Or your jeans, white jeans in the summer, they look much better with nude boots than boots of another color. They won't look as harsh as black boots. If you are sure like me, a lot of times you might be wearing heels. I always wear heels whenever I can because I want a little high boost and heels can also boost our posture and make us look taller and leaner. The most important thing when it comes to heels is the comfort. I learned it the hard way. Very expensive designer shoes, but it was not really comfortable. So what exactly determines how comfortable your heels are? There is one thing very few people is talking about it. Nobody's talking about it, in fact. But that is very, very important. When you are choosing your heels, whether it's pumps or boots, this one thing is extremely important. Watch this video. What is a surprising fact that you didn't know that can determine if your shoes are comfortable or not? 